everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a family bungalow inspired home. So as you guys see how this is designed on the inside and decorated, you're going to totally tell <laughs> that this is definitely inspired by the patch update that we had. So I did build this quite a while ago. I built this probably like a week ago or it was around like the same day that the new patch update came and I just didn't have time to get this edited. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I've been away for basically this whole week <laughs> and I just did not have the time to get this up. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to get this done. I actually did end up doing a bunch of other builds. I do have this like large family home that is like it's kind of like an estate kind of build. There's like a lot to it. I cannot get it finished, but I'm like determined to not delete it because you guys, I love the exterior of that build. So hopefully by next week, I'm going to have it done. It's going to be such a long video. <laughs> this build that I am working on, it's like, honestly, it's taken probably, it's just so many days I sit down for hours. And I'm like struggling so bad with like the interiors. Sometimes I will get inspired to do like exteriors from like Pinterest or like home design websites or whatever. But for the most part, all of the interiors and layouts are exactly like what I come up with. And sometimes they turn out really good. Other times I'm like, oh my God, this is like horrendous. And that's kind of where I am at with the other build that I just, I really love the exterior and that one was kind of started when we had the glass roofing, so I just kind of kept building and going and building, and I just love how it turned out. I feel like there is so much to that other build that like there's no way that I can delete it at this point because I have put so many days in that build, but yeah, so that's kind of what I have been working on, and I also have been trying to get a lot more like family homes up. I was kind of in this building, you know, spree. Sometimes I go in, I'll be like doing all family homes. I'll do like a month of all tiny homes. And I feel like I am definitely getting back into doing these family homes. So this is only a two bedroom. I do have some larger builds that are like three and four bedrooms that I have been working on. And if you guys ever check in the community tab on my channel, I'm like always posting polls, asking you guys what you want to see here on my channel. So I did post one this morning asking you guys what is your favorite size of build and I knew it was going to be the family size. Most of you guys did say the three to four bedroom like traditional ish family kind of home so I definitely am going to be stepping it up with that a little bit. Oh I do end up deleting this. I wasn't too sure. I think if you're in game and you had this little area for gardening if you have a garden in your home I think that could be cute but I do end up taking that out and I kind of forgot what I did with this build so before I even like did the voiceover I had to like go over to the screenshots I was like oh my gosh wait what what did I do with this build and yeah so this definitely has a clean picked up style I do use like tons of the new stuff that came with the update you guys we got so much new stuff and I mean it's old news at this point but <laughs> I didn't really get any builds out when we first did it because it seems like every time something major like that happens an update something drops I'm like either out of town I either have to go out of town or something like that that I just don't have the time to do it and that kind of happened with Sims Mobile as well I was like heading out the door Sims Mobile did their waterfront update and I was leaving and I'm like, holy cow, I freaking love Sims Mobile. I had to get some kind of a video up and same with this, but I mean, free content. I feel like this is one of the biggest free game updates that we did actually get other than like toddlers. I definitely feel like toddlers was like the free game changing pack that we did get. And um, yeah, so this just had like so much stuff and it's actually nice stuff. Like sometimes you get an update and you get like ugly t-shirts or like <laughs> stuff that you're not really gonna use, like random stuff. But I do feel like this was almost like, you know, a free game pack or a stuff pack because we did get so much stuff with like wallpapers, coach, chairs, um, wallpaper, did I say wallpaper? We got this ceiling fan and just like so much stuff that to me it feels like it definitely is going to be like adding to people's games. It is a, you know, a style and I do feel like the tropical theme is a little bit lacking in The Sims even though we do have Oasis Springs. I mean, I would love to see more tropical like plants and stuff like that. I would love to see more of like the tropical planters that are in like flower pots and stuff. 
So yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm like rambling at this point, but this home is definitely a smaller bungalow, but I wanted to make sure that it did have two bedrooms. I kind of did a lot of like one bedroom homes, you know, earlier this summer. So I'm like just trying to make time. It has been so freaking busy here, you guys that I'm just like, I need to play catch up. I feel like my head is spinning, <laughs> but I'm like determined to keep posting. Let me know what you guys have been up to this summer. Are you like just kind of catching your breath now that you're probably all going back to school? Are you guys like super busy? Do you still have time for YouTube? I'm like trying to figure out exactly what's going to happen with YouTube because last year I was just kind of like starting with my channel and I wasn't really too sure I just like kept posting and now this year I'm like I wonder what everybody is up to you know I wonder if because I just generally watch YouTube all the time it doesn't really matter what's going on <laughs> even if I'm like busy I'll be like I'm glued to YouTube I always want to know what's up especially in like the beauty guru world oh my gosh there's been so much drama. <laughs> I've been like watching that. I also have been watching Celebrity Big Brother because I am the freaking hugest Christy Alley fan. And I'm trying to think who else. So there's like one of the girls from Bad Girls Club, I think. I don't watch that show. And there is a guy from Coronation Street, which I don't watch that show. <laughs> but I think it's like popular. I don't know. But yeah, I don't really know too many. They also have that supermodel that was supposed to have been kidnapped and then some people say it was fake. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know why anybody would fake something like that. But anyways, there's like a whole bunch of celebrities and it is definitely starting to go down in the drama section. So yeah, I caught up on that. I think there's like four episodes, four or five. Actually, there might even be six. Is there like any Big Brother fans here? I feel like I always watch the Celebrity Big Brother. I did watch it when like Trisha Paytas was on it. And um, yeah, I feel like sometimes I don't get to watch the regular one. But when it does come to the Celebrity one, I'm like on it. <laughs> I definitely have to watch that. And I'm also waiting for Narcos to start on Netflix next month. I think it comes out in September. And I may be wrong, but does Riverdale come out next month? I might be wrong. <laughs> they might have just announced like the second season or something like that. I would love to know what do you guys recommend for me to watch on Netflix. I'm like starting to catch up with everything. So now like if I'm in the evenings and I'm like doing some builds or something, I'll like, I stick to podcasts, but I kind of have been getting back into watching like Netflix and stuff like that. So if you guys have anything you recommend for me to watch either on Netflix, Amazon Prime, or like a podcast, definitely let me know. I know I ask that basically in every single one of my builds, <laughs> but I never realized how lacking, you know, of content that I have to watch until I'm like sitting down to build. But I wanted to put a little bit over, okay, we're gonna talk about the build <laughs> just for like a minute. But over here in the pool area, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I've always liked doing these little planter boxes. I try to not do them in a lot of my builds because they are such a statement item that I feel like if I put them in too many of my builds, it makes my builds all look the same. And if you're a builder or you watch builders channel, sometimes it can be really hard to make your content not kind of like bleed into like some of your previous builds. So I did want to add them in just because I do think they are pretty. I wish that I had have made them brick in the backyard. But yeah, so this is like really blue suburban kind of like bungalow home. <laughs> I don't even honestly know what this style what like this style is but the pool is freaking huge it does only have two people that live in here or two bedrooms so I mean I guess you could have like two to four people if you wanted to have like two beds um, in like the children's room yeah I do end up going in and switching out the flooring because I didn't really like that other brown I did try to use a different flooring than what like I definitely have my favorites but I feel like some of the base game stuff Sometimes it's a bit of a struggle <laughs> to use it, but I did want to try and that new plant and the couch are like probably my favorites. 
I do try to stay away from adding so many plants, but I do have some builds that are coming up that you guys need to prepare <laughs> because they are a little bit overdone with plants, but I feel like because we did get this new like palm tree inspired wallpaper, I felt like it was okay <laughs> to overdo it. I have like this, I don't know, I don't even know if you would call it like a florist lover, but there is a lot. And I wanted to make sure that the counters were not too cluttered because there is only one counter to prepare food on. So it might look a little bit bare over in the kitchen, but like I said, I wanted to make sure that it was actually like player friendly. And yeah, we don't really have a living room. We just have like a little TV and a chair. But the bathroom, I do like that it does have like for the master ensuite, you can like get into the bathroom from like the adult's bedroom. So sometimes I like doing that because I do feel like it can be a little bit of a nuisance having your sim to walk around. So I feel like whenever you do have a space in a bathroom that you don't really know what to do with, just add a door. <laughs> make it go into the bedroom and the other bedroom that I have for like the children I feel like these rooms are pretty big for like how small the home is so if you did have like more than one child or teen you could definitely fit in more beds in the children's room I did just kind of like put in a desk to have a computer I think that's what I put in a desk and oh my gosh this area right here with the white um the white little planter with the palm tree and then I end up putting in that palm wallpaper in the back with all of this like white and the pretty like flowers and candles it looks so pretty together I feel like that is probably my favorite wall in like this whole entire um, build so I did like use that one wallpaper as an accent throughout like the whole entire build because like I said when I did this it was new so I was just like having fun playing around with all of that. So I do go in, add it in, and you guys are going to see. And I do have like tons of screenshots at the end. And when I was taking the pictures, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. It almost looks like it could be like in a hotel. And then I do add in like all that wallpaper. I wanted to put the canopy because I do feel like that canopy kind of has a tropical feel. Like, I don't know, I wish we could have more canopy beds. I always say that. <laughs> I feel like, you know, as Sims builders, we can never be, you know, we can never be complete with any of the new content we get. We can get like a brand new pack and we'll be like, oh my gosh, I wish I had this and I wish I had that. And I talked about this on Twitter, but I feel like if I did not have my channel where I would have to like link everything, I definitely would have a whole entire build save or not a build save, like a, a folder in my mods folder <laughs> completely dedicated to like wallpaper plants rugs but I mean I feel like if you are a builder everybody is gonna want those links because I mean I know in the past when I was into it I would watch builds and I'd be like oh my god where did they get that and then you could never find it but I did see these really freaking pretty plants in a lot of builds that has like a glass jar I don't know if it's a mason jar or if it's just like a really cute vase and it has just like hydrangeas and there's like a whole bunch of different like plants in it oh my gosh even thinking about it <laughs> I kind of wish the Sims would just give us like a whole entire pack dedicated to plants and everything so I do just go in add in the wallpaper just to kind of cozy it up a little bit without like over cluttering it but I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's build this is going to be in the gallery so if you guys do like how it turned out you will be able to download it and put it into your game so make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up it always lets me know that you guys did enjoy and hopefully I'm gonna see you all in my next video bye guys